Welcome back everyone to another guides video and in this one we'll take a look at installing the MRAA library on a 96 boards CE edition board and this is our recommended library for GPIO and other uh, interfaces like I squared C, SPI, UART etc. Um, and to actually interface with them and interface with any external sensors and stuff like that. So we are going to do the basic install and test of that library today uh, I have my Heike 960 booted with the Debian build and uh, as you can see here uh, I am logged in over uh, UART so I'm in the root uh, account otherwise you are in the Linaro account uh, the instructions apply um, similarly I'll have the official documentation linked below so that you can follow that and cut and copy the code and use this video as a reference only all right so once we are in there we need to make sure we have a few uh, dependencies installed and those are going to be your uh, git your build assurances which is basically gcc and other libraries swig uh, 3.0 python dev or uh, so the development python library node.js development library uh, cmake and libjson uh, c development library so make sure you have all of them installed so uh, it's a basic app get installed situation press enter everything should be installed all right so with that done uh, we can now finally uh, clone the repository so that would be git clone and we just clone the master branch for MRAA this link uh, to the repository may change in the future uh, so our documentation will change accordingly and again you can always refer to the official documentation so let's go ahead and clone that again should take a few seconds Now once that is done you can cd into the MRA folder, create a build directory and then cd into that build directory and uh, once you are there you need to run cmake so that would be cmake and uh, you need to tell cmake that the cmake file uh, is in the root directory uh, of the project so you do the double dots there. Uh, but there are a few CMake flags that I recommend uh, one of which is to have the default uh, install path as USR and not use a local and that's about it so uh, CMake and then you have your install prefix um, environment variable set to slash USR and you just press enter and it will uh, start doing what CMake does best so this will take a few minutes or seconds all right so that is done now you can make the uh, run the make command so run and make and to uh, speed up the process uh, j dollar and n proc so that will work with any system you have it will uh, any any 96 boards you have it will distribute the uh, load across all the cores that are available so press enter and it will start to build and this will take only a few seconds because i am on the high key 960 and it's a uh, quite quite a fast board so once that is done all you need to run is sudo make install and that will install MRAA. So uh, what I want to do is take an example from the MRA folder and show you all how it's built. So we are going to use the hello MRA example. So I'm just going to copy it to my home folder. So CP uh, MRAA examples C and hello MRAA.C and copy it to my home folder and you can see I have hello mra.c right there and run uh, compile it with gcc so uh, an output and we will have to link the mraa library so dash lmra at the end and that compiles it so we can run hello mraa and you can see the result that it's working 
successfully we have the hello mra message printed out we have the current mra version and our device name as well so that's it that's how you build mra on a 96 boards consumer edition platform you can follow this guide for any of our boards that are supported in mraa our board support might change uh, but as of this moment we have the bubblegum 96 dragon board 410c and a20c high key high key 960 rock 960 and the ultra 96 supported again as the time goes by uh, we will have more boards in there so thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe for for the guides and videos